So is it shot? Uh, we will find out in just a minute. But this um, this is one week, less than one week from today, we'll be at the SEMA show. So the fun thing is around the, around the world right now, people are still putting cars together. There are people that are probably putting motors together right now to have cars on display at SEMA next week. And thank God this is not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're concerned if this one's even going to run. Well, there's some some damage on the bearings. This is the motor out of that Camino we're building, and it's supposed to be a 3,000 mile motor. But um, I guess that's our shout out to everybody who's finishing up a SEMA car. Press on, because we're lucky we don't have to this year. Our car's already finished, and it's gonna be on its way there tomorrow. Yeah, the Firebird's been done for more than a month now, and it'll be in the Classic Industries booth. That's a record. It, it, for us, it's a hell of a record. Boy, are we shocked that we made that happen. So we will shoot some video of the Firebird in the Classic Industries booth as part of its final feature. Um, and we are shooting, like we do every year at VATV, we've got tons and tons and tons of videos lined up all week at the SEMA show starting Monday. And you made the list. Who are we interviewing? <laughs> Uh, Monday we can only shoot outside, so we'll do some features of just whatever random cool cars we see outside. And then um, Tuesday through Friday, um, sometimes we'll shoot um, things like with the Ring Brothers. They're bringing two cars, you said. I think they're both Mustangs. Well, that's usually the Ring Brothers. They do, do Mustangs. And uh, we'll find um, Koi's GTO, mm -hmm. and we're going to find Steve Strope somewhere. Strope with the Anvil booth and uh, another Mustang, but it, that one is... All these cars are badass. They're really cool cars. And then um, Brian Fuller. Oh uh, yes, with uh, all I know about Fuller's car is it's called the Impaler. I don't know if he fell on it or something. I don't know. And it's got a 572, so I'm thinking GM, but that's all I know. Okay. And uh, whatever cool new projects uh, we come along the way, or new products that any companies have come out with. Um, Aren't any... there other cars? Mark Stilo's. Um, oh yes. Uh, Red Devil, um, '69 Camaro. That'll probably be pretty cool. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, oh that guy. Oh, that guy. Mario Andretti. Oh, yes. In the Magnaflow booth with a, a super bad, it's another, well, we can't say what that one is. We're not supposed to. Okay, but we're going to interview Mario Andretti. Right, and show another killer car. Cool so, car. <clears throat> you want, wherever you're watching this, if there's a subscribe button, you want to hit it because you don't want to miss any of the videos that we're shooting all week at the SEMA show. We're forgetting something else about SEMA. What else in the coverage? Hmm. Any contests this year? Booth babes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that meant. <laughs> the booth babe challenge will be back. So everybody has to go to the V8 TV forum and um, we'll ask the booth babe some kind of question. Um, usually not a yes or no answer. It usually has something to do with a year or uh, a number, for example, so that they can randomly guess at a number. And you guys can put in your guesses, and then we'll send out V8 TV prizes, like hats and T-shirts and DVDs and whatever else I round up at SEMA. So they have to guess what you have to guess, what you think the booth babe is going to say. Right. For example, last year we had them guess how many people attended SEMA, and they were sorely wrong. Yeah, the, the answers <clears throat> went from, what, 6,000 to a million or something. Yeah. So it's not... If it's, you know, we're not going for the right answer, you gotta guess whatever you think the booth babe's gonna say. Right. We'll get to that later. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. There's that. So it's a big week. So you wanna make sure you're watching VATV all week. Um, we'll have this torn apart. You'll see this on the website as well later as not part of the SEMA coverage because we don't have to have it done <laughs> in three days. Right on. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure that this only has 3,000 miles on it. If it does, it wasn't built correctly. 3,000 hard miles, baby. The VATV style.